Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I have decided to create a tutorial for my torch system. In the next few videos we are going to build it from scratch. The final product will be something like this. We will have uh, different kinds of torches. We have a pick up torch here, the first one. The second torch is the opposite, it cannot be picked up. The third torch is non-flammable but can be picked up. And the last torch can be picked up and can be inflamed when collides with another lit torch. The torches can be placed on any complex mesh or terrain and they will always face the right direction. As you can see they have a slightly random offset when they are placed. Also we are going to build this cool mechanic to inflame objects, in this case these barrels. Each barrel will have a random explosion time and if it contains the specific tag then the barrels can spawn items or collectibles after exploding. Just a little quick reminder, if you enjoy these videos please like and subscribe to my channel, it costs nothing but helps me a lot, thank you very much. Without further ado, let's get started with building the pickup part first. I've started by creating a new third person template project. The first thing to do here is to create an action mapping for our pickup button. I will choose the E, you can pick whatever button you like. Let's create it by clicking the little plus icon. After we have our key setup we need to go to the character blueprint. This is the default character BP that Unreal provides for you. We will leave it like this. Now, we want to initiate our picking object event when we press our pickup key, so the first thing is to call the input action. There are a ton of different ways that you can implement this mechanic. I will start by checking if we are currently holding an item, because if we are holding an item we don't want to pick up another item. I will create our first variable which will be boolean. Let's name it is holding. This will keep track and answer our question if we are holding anything. And we want to plug the variable into the condition. So if we are holding an item, we probably will need to drop it when we press the same key. But if we are not holding anything, we want to pick it up. So let's implement that part first. If we are not holding an item, we want to call for each loop with a break. I will explain to you what this means in a second. The next step will be to get all overlapping actors node. This will return a list of all actors that our player overlaps or connect with using a collider. We want to choose the actor class here. So for each of these overlapping actors we will perform a certain action. That's why we needed the for each loop. The array element here will return the current actor that we interact with at the moment. For example it will return the torch we are colliding with while our character is standing in front of it. After that, we need to check if the actor has a specific tag that will determine if the torch is pickable or not. So, if that is true, we want to promote the item that we can pick to a variable. That way, we will have more control over the item we picked. Let's name it held item. And now it's the turn where we will attach our torch to the player's hand using the attach to component node. Let's link the held item to the target of the attach to component node. That way we are defining which item will be placed in our player hand. Location rule, rotation rule and scale rule has to be set to snap target, so they will scale with our player's mesh. Here comes the important part, the socket name. Unreal provides us with a way of adding sockets into our player's mesh. That way we can attach an item directly into the hand socket, for example. Our parent has to point to the player character mesh since the player character is the parent object. I will show you how to create the socket now. Let's name it Torch Socket. You can choose whatever name you like, just keep in mind that the name in the node must match exactly the socket name that we will create. Now we have to find the skeletal mesh of our character. Open it and in the left window you will see all the bone structures of our character. We won't dive deep into an explanation of how this works. Find right hand and add socket. Name the socket exactly the same as we name it into our blueprint torch socket. Right click and add preview asset. I will use assets from the Unreal store, you can choose whatever assets you want. We need to carefully adjust the torch to the wanted position. Don't worry too much about that, we will return to this later. Going back to the character's BP after we pick up an item and attach it to the player's hand, we have to change our boolean is holding to true. And the last thing is when we pick up an item to break the for loop. Let's test this out. I'll place a torch and we can try to grab it. 
Don't forget to set the actor's tag to pick up a bow, otherwise you won't be able to interact with it. And when we try to pick it up using E button, nothing's happened. This is because we need to create a collision and attach it to the torch. That way we will be able to get our overlapping actor's node from our character's BP. Also we want to change the collision preset of our mesh to overlap all. That way the character would not collide with the mesh itself. Now, to add the collision let's convert this mesh to a separate BP actor. Select the torch mesh and click create blueprint from selection. Choose select and a new window will pop up. Click on the add button and choose sphere collision. You can choose whatever collision shape you want, I'll use the sphere. Drag it up a little bit to match the torch position. Click save and compile. Let's rename it to the player collision. If we try again, we will be able to pick up the torch. As we predicted the position is wrong, so we can go back in our player skeletal mesh and adjust it a little bit further. I think it's looking good now. You can adjust it however you want. And the final part of this video is to clear up our code a little bit. This was everything for this first part. In the next part I will show you how to place the torch, we will build some custom functions and we will dive deeper examining the dot product in Unreal Engine 5. I hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye.